This video is an introduction to some of the enabling technologies used in Cognionics EEG systems. We'll do a brief walkthrough of some highlights and conclude with a series of video demonstrations. Building a practical EEG system requires three major areas of focus, sensors, mechanics, and electronics. For dry sensors, the electrode must be able to go through hair to make direct contact with the scalp. This must be accomplished without sacrificing comfort. And the materials must be optimized to have the right conductivity and flexibility for the best signal quality. The mechanics of a dry system are important because they are responsible for placing the sensors onto the subject's head. A dry EEG headset must conform to a wide range of head shapes, be easy to handle, and also be comfortable. Finally, the electronics are critical to ensure that microvolt EEG signals are not lost or corrupted in the presence of electrical noise and artifacts, especially with high impedance dry sensors. Cognionics is a leader in designing, optimizing, and integrating all three areas. Our technology was developed with funding from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, the National Institutes of Health, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, and the Office of Naval Research. Let's start by introducing our novel patented and patent pending dry electrodes. The first type of sensor is the dry pad. It uses an ionically conductive membrane. The cushioned surface provides optimal signal transfer to the skin. The sensors are rated for over 1,000 uses without degradation. The second type for use over hair is the flex sensor. It consists of a flexible conductive polymer with silver silver chloride tips. It can slide through hair without needing hard prongs or pins. The size and shape of the sensors have been optimized for use over a wide range of hair densities and thicknesses in just one design. The flex sensor can be used for 250 to 400 sessions with proper care. A dry system is critically dependent on a headset. The quality of the signal is also dependent on the geometry of the headset design. In this example, the Quick 20 uses flexible elastic legs. Each sensor pod also contains multiple degrees of freedom in order to ensure that each sensor is making appropriate contact with the scalp. In addition, each sensor is suspended inside the pod and surrounded by foam in order to maximize comfort. In terms of electronics, designing a mobile EEG acquisition system is challenging for two main reasons. First, all the circuitry in a traditional benchtop amplifier has to be shrunk down into something that can be worn on the head and run off of a small battery. Second, when dry electrodes are involved, the EEG amplifier has to be able to reject noise and preserve the low amplitude EEG signal even with very high skin to electrode contact impedance. Here are some key features of Cognionics's wireless EEG amplifiers. First, we use a very high resolution analog to digital converter of 24 bits. This matches the best bench systems and allows us to almost always track an EEG signal without clipping or settling artifacts. Second, we have a custom high-speed wireless interface. This enables our systems to do three things. One, we can support high sample rates. For example, our 64-channel amplifier can stream EEG at 500 samples per second. Our Quick 20 can operate at 1,000 samples per second. And our low-channel systems can operate at up to 4,000 samples per second. Two, our systems include support for a fully wireless trigger with millisecond performance comparable to conventional wired setups for mobile ERP and other experiments that require precise timing. Three, the wireless link is easy to set up with a plug and play USB receiver. No pairing is needed. Third, our amplifier contains advanced shielding and electronic noise cancellation circuits, specifically optimized for dry electrodes. We will discuss this in detail in the next slide. As we just mentioned, shielding is very important for a dry EEG system. Electrical noise exists in virtually any environment, from equipment, power line wiring, and even other nearby people and objects. You may be familiar with the 50-60 Hz power line noise, which is commonly removed by a notch filter in many systems. However, it's important to note that filtering may add signal distortion and is only effective at removing specific periodic artifacts such as line noise. It is much better to reject the noise before it ever contaminates the signal. To accomplish this, the Quick 20 features shielded sensor pods. 
electrical noise sources are eliminated before they can reach the sensor. In addition to shielding, our system also uses an active ground noise cancellation system. Electrical noise can also be directly coupled into the subject's body and generate a common mode artifact that appears on all the channels. Without proper compensation, this can also result in noise in the EEG recording. Common mode electrical potentials can be ejected into the subject by body movements such as walking and also by nearby people and objects. The magnitudes can easily be thousands or millions of times greater than that of the EEG. The Cognionics Active Ground System uses the reference electrode to sense the disturbance. A second amplifier inverts the signal and cancels it out using a closed loop feedback system. The net effect is that the differential between the subject and the amplifier is eliminated which results in a clean EEG recording. Active grounding is one of several techniques used to minimize common mode disturbances and ensure that the potential of the amplifier tracks the subject's body. Properly implemented, the performance difference between these various techniques are negligible compared to other potential sources of noise and artifact. Now we would like to show some video examples. In the videos, all data is raw and unfiltered to give you a real, unprocessed view of the EEG. The first video shows the rejection of external electrical fields to demonstrate the effectiveness of the active shield. We start with our subject with her eyes closed. You can see the clear alpha oscillations in the EEG trace. The blue trace at the bottom is the output of the active ground. As a second person walks in the room, you can see the active ground detecting and canceling out the induced charge into the subject. Having the second person tap their foot generates a large amplitude electrical artifact to stress the system. Even still, the active ground is able to remove the induced noise and you can see that the EEG signal remains clean. The next video shows the rejection of power line noise. As we explained before, it is important for an EEG system to reject noise and not rely on filters such as notches. As the subject grasps the power line, you can see the active ground sensing and canceling out the 60 Hz interference from the power line. There is no contamination in the EEG and no filtering is required. As before, the alpha oscillations are clearly visible. The final video demonstrates the signal quality with our subject walking. The combination of advanced sensors, mechanics, and electronics enables the system to reject electromechanical artifacts and still obtain a clear EEG signal even under light ambulation. You can see the output of the active ground respond to cancel out the artifacts induced by the subject's footsteps. At the same time, mechanical artifacts from displacements between the sensor and the skin are minimized by the lightweight, conformable design of the headset. Thank you for watching our video and for your interest. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.